received the Torah, the Ten Commandments, and the Torah starts, mishpatim, these are the commandments, these are the laws of the Torah, which are a chunk of the mitzvot of the Torah. Of course, everyone knows we have 630 mitzvot. That's a huge chunk of them in our parasha. And the Midrash deals with the question, why the Jewish people had to have so many mitzvot? What is the reason for, it's not enough to give us just the Ten Commandments, we have so many after. And the Midrash gives us some beautiful parables which I want to share with you. Amar Rabbi Abba Veshem Rabbi Yossi Bar Rabbi Hanina. Rabbi Abba says in the name of Rabbi Yossi Bar Hanina, Mashal Emelech Shayalu Pardes. It's a parable to a, ki- a king who had a, a beautiful orchard. And he had many beautiful trees in that orchard. Only the king himself was allowed into this orchard. He didn't give, give anyone permission to go into this orchard. Once his children were old enough, my children, listen, this orchard is for you. I myself was keeping it and guarding it. Nobody else were, was allowed to come in. Attend you, Mishamaruch. Now this is your duty to keep this garden, to this beautiful orchard. The same as I, I was doing. Send, said Hashem to the people of Israel. Until I created the world, the Torah was basically mine. Like Hashem was like a, 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 a mother nursing, nursing the, the world. Nobody else from the nations was allowed to have any part of it. Kept it for, for the special child. Once they grew up, once they came to Mount Sinai, Hashem shared with them this uh, uh, beautiful gift. All right. And then the village continues. And Lonatan, the of their Kochavim, to the other nation, Hashem, the Midrash says, Mikzat Natan Adam, start with Shesh Mitzvot, the six. Apparently, according to the Midrash, we know of the seven North Horse wine. Apparently, six of them already were, were, were given to the first man, to Adam Arishon. Osif le Noach Mitzvah, <coughs> Noach received another Mitzvah, Ever Minatai, not to eat any meat without killing the animal first. Right? Then another one to Abraham in Parashat in, in Sefer Bereshit we learn that Abraham also received extra mitzvah which is of course Wait, Wait, yeah. Bila, right? And then Yaakov received number nine overall. Yes, this is the Gidan Hashem, not to eat the parts of the chart. Yes? What's that? Correct. Aval Yisrael Atanakol. Then to the people of Israel Hashem then gave everything. Oh, another parable to understand. A king with a beautiful table full with amazing food. The first servant came in, he gave him a little piece, right? The, the second servant came in, maybe a more important servant, he gave him an upgrade, he gave him an, an egg, right? Shlishi Natano Yerek. The third one, even more important, he gave him a vegetable. Right? And then, etc., etc. Nichnas Bno, once his child, his own child, came in, Natano Kola Shulchan, gave him the entire table, the whole feast was just for him. Amar Leel Natati Mana Mana, all these people before, I just, I just gave it a small portion. Avalitakol Natati Kola Shulchan, but everything I gave to him in your. Uh, uh, in, with you. This is the reason why Hashem gave to the other nations only a few mitzvot, only the seven, seven Noah laws. But, once Israel stood on Mount Sinai, they received the entire Torah. So, the Midrash is actually telling us the mitzvot is something that is joyful. It's like a, a beautiful feast that we need to taste how beautiful they are. If we feel that it's hot, uh, 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 trying to force on us and something external on us, then we don't feel the taste of it. But the truth of the matter, so many mitzvot and each has a special taste that we need to, to take in. Um, we're not gonna-